Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I'm going to be doing a haul video. It's kind of massive, so I'm not even going to talk. I'm just going to get right into it. The highlight, though, I'm going to start off with the highlight of the show, which is the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Eyeshadow Collection. Got this from Sephora. I wanted to get it the first time it came out because I heard all the shadows were new, you know, some talented swatches, and I really like most of the shadows. And it was sold out within probably minutes, maybe two minutes, three minutes. I don't know. It was just sold out. So I got this from Sephora. And guys, the packaging is exquisite. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. I don't usually like Urban Decay packaging because it's too big, it's too bulky, but this is really, really nice. And you guys have seen my mess, I'm sorry, but that's the packaging right there. It's, it's it wants to feel like metal, but I think it's, it's plastic, a very refined plastic or something. I don't think it's metal. And then it has the Urban Decay um, logo right there. In purple if, anyway all the colors are new um, you know you might have colors that resemble other colors from the Urban Decay line but those are the colors and the top part um, portion is glass in here but it has the little thing on it this strip on it but the colors are really pretty I love this is really exquisite and Urban Decay did it they, they really did it and the packaging is really really nice really really nice but that's the size of it the, you know to my hand that's the size and it also comes in this tray that you can use um like that yeah got that from Sephora that's the highlight of the show for me personally but now I'm gonna start off with the um stuff that I got from the drugstore and you know the cheaper stuff so went to the drugstore you know someone requested I do some uh, a review of the black opal lipsticks I'm wearing one of the lipsticks right now and this one is called Natural. Absolutely love it. it. The pigmentation is so rich. It has a slight nutty smell. Almost like, not nutty, like clay. It smells like clay a little bit. I can handle it, but that's not my problem with it. I'll show you the colors and do a couple swatches. But the lipsticks are so soft. They are unbelievably soft. Yeah, I probably got it like two, three day, days ago. And look at it melting i'm gonna have to depart these or return them i don't want to return it because i like the quality of it but it's so soft i don't know why it is so soft but this is natural a really pretty um almost like a terracotta color really 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 nice and then i also got one in Fant fantasia plum yeah um also it's the same thing it's not as bad as the other one though as natural gorgeous rich berry color I don't like applying lipstick from palettes on myself but these are the swatches natural Fantasia plum really really pretty colors but I don't know about these yet they're too soft anyway um <laughs> this really got me so I got this um lip stain lip stain from black radiance it's called moisturizing lip stain and the color that I got it in is I don't remember. Anyway, this is not a lip stain. This is a regular lip gloss. This is not a lip stain. So if you see this and you're thinking that you're going to get some kind of stain on your lips to last, it is not. It is not a stain. It is a lip gloss. It is not a lip stain. It is a lip gloss. The color is very pretty, like a soft pinky. It only gives me a little, little bit of color on my lips. It is moisturizing. It is not a lip stain. Absolutely not. FYI has no coverage whatsoever and then I came across uh, NYC has a new collection it's like some vampire dark I'm not really into that um, type collection I don't know um, but I did I did get the lip gloss um, it's in blackula <laughs> and it's a black lip, lip gloss with slight shimmers in it so that's the lip gloss it's actually black and that's it shared out um, it's really nice. I'm going to layer it on top so of So, I've put on a little bit. I don't want to be this close in your face. I've put on a little bit of the gloss. And it's it's sheer, slightly buildable, 
but it's a really good touch and I think I'm gonna get another one if, if there's any more left um, because I really like the way it transforms um, your lip product okay so um, I went to Toys R Us for my son's birthday his, his birthday was a couple weeks or so ago so I was in Toys R Us and you know I was walking past the girly section where they have the dolls and stuff and then I saw they had this um, Bonnebel tree piece set for $4.99, $3.99, something like that. So I picked it up because the gloss caught my eye. It's a really, um, like a dirty pink nudie color. And when I looked at it, I saw that it was the color that someone told me to get it in a while ago, like since 09, I think, maybe early 2010. Um, so I picked it up, got this, this bronzer. It's a natural blush, blending glow, but this is not a, a blush for me. It's very cool toned. Um, I can use it to highlight, use it um, maybe as eyeshadow, but the colors are very cool. Very cool tone. Those are all the colors blended together. Really cool. Um, I also got an eyeliner um, in like black or brown, black brown. I don't know where it is, but the gloss is really pretty. It has just the right color very nice and it smells divine it smells like cappuccino i guess i don't know like a coffee sweet caramel mm, smells good so i got that there then from avon um i got a few more stuff but uh, it may be too much but from avon i got this bronzer it's called the marbleized bronzer and this one is in bronze or accent bronze i don't know which which name belongs to it but that's what it looks like um eh, it's all right it's kind of light it's a highlighter i wanted they had another one a pinky one but i didn't get that one they were sold out so it's kind of shimmery nighttime use only nighttime also got another one of their um foundation adjusters because i really like the cool toned one so i went ahead and i got the gold one um the warm one which is a gold color there oh I ordered some stuff from QVC I always stalk QVC and I usually don't order a lot of stuff I just like watching QVC and I love watching Mally um, from Mally Beauty I, I love that girl she is a crazy mess in a good way <laughs> but I love her so I decided um, I wanted to order some stuff from her before but then I got requested to try her products so I decided I'll just go ahead and buy it since I wanted to buy it anyway so I got her um, I messaged and I annotated the name of her company um, asking which what products would be best for darker skin because I wanted to order some stuff I messaged her the day before they were gonna be on QVC and the girl the representative got right back to me just in you know right on time and I was able to order, I messed up the bag. I was able to order what I needed. I only got two sets uh, because the other stuff I just didn't think I needed. And this was one of the requested pieces. So I got the cancellation concealer system. And if you don't know who Mally is, um, you should. This is her. She's a celebrity makeup artist. Um, and now, of course, she's selling her own cosmetics. But there she is. Beautiful girl, lady. Um, really fun, light, not really stuffy. I don't like that. So, she's really fun to watch on QVC. The cancellation concealer system comes with actually four pieces, but for your face, only three. Um, the dual brush, which comes with what looks like a blender brush, and then a concealer brush, the concealer section, the synthetic piece. So, the concealer comes in rich, which is a rich caramel color. It has like an orangey hint like a yellowish orange brown um i this is my match perfect um but it comes with that and it also comes with the powder so that's the swatch of the concealer it looks like that's the swatch of the concealer unblended and i use a little bit too much but this is what it looks like blended out yeah and it's for under eye circles which is good it has really nice um orangey color to it. I'll do a review on that and I'll let you guys know about that and it also comes with a little bag. Cute. Mm. And I also got the Portis Face Defender. I was really intrigued by this. And I hope it's not a gimmick. One thing I can say though, this sponge is nice and soft. has real good firmness to it but a really good bounce to it. 
and it's big look at the size of this so you know you can apply it over your face but it's like a jumbo marshmallow it's just like <sighs> delicious okay so this is the evercolor poreless face defender and it comes in a typical pink really nice the packages feel really sturdy uh really sturdy so what did i do oh i thought i did something so this is what it looks like the sheet is on there the white sheet i'll just take it off so that's what it looks like and it's a face primer i'm assuming i don't know yet i gotta read up on it because it comes with a little booklet I'll, I'll let you guys know about that this video is good is a, is a mess it's just too long it's a mess you got too much stuff money i did okay guys home stretch i'm so sorry this video was so long so sephora when i purchased the um <laughs> the urban decay palette uh, i noticed that they had a sale i was like whoa they have a sale <gasps> So, I took advantage of the sale. Anyway, so I'll start out with this. I don't have anything from um, Tarina Tarantino, so I decided I'll try a couple things um, since they were on sale and all. So, I got this um, I Dream Hyper Shadow, and it's an electric butterfly. And I swatched it, and what I realized is it's very much like NARS Taj Mahal blush. And this is what it looks like. Let's do a close-up. So that's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. Swatch. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous blush or eyeshadow. Either one. But that's it. Blend it out. Let me just do a regular swatch. Blended and unblended. So if you guys have Taj Mahal, you know that it looks just like Taj Mahal based on the swatch. Really pretty eyeshadow or blush. Either way it works. And the packaging is really nice. It came in this little organza bag. And that's just kind of cute. Then I got two of her um, Magic Hour Cream Eyeshadow. And I got one in Purple Velvet. And the other in Black Diamond. Now I was expecting for the Black Diamond to be a bit more let me swatch it has to have more shimmer in it I wanted something a little shimmery and they're already drying out so I guess that's why they're on sale um, but it doesn't bother me how long are these really creamy hmm. but this is the black diamond it has more of a gray hint to it it's black with shimmers purple velvet is really really pretty um, it's more of a plummy purple but really pretty and here I go again with another tinted moisturizer because I plan and after I using all my after using all my foundations, the liquid ones, I'm gonna stick to my cream foundation and tinted moisturizer all year round. Winter, summer, you can, you know, and tinted moisturizer is not just for the summertime. You can rock it in the winter too if you don't want that much coverage. So um, I got the Stila Sheer Color um, SPF 15 tinted moisturizer, and the color I got it in was warm, um, number five. I'm that's what it looks like, kind of a, a beigey brown color. This is me blending it out. It looks more meat, like a medium color, but it, as I said before, tinted moisturizers, they usually blend down. Um, so, I'll, you know, everything here I'm gonna tell you guys about, um, use them, talk to you guys about. Then I got the Benefit To Go Stay Put Set. It has the um, Stay Don't Stray, um, the Race Paste, and I don't know what this is creamless cream shadow liner and they come in little sample sizes and I paid ten dollars for these I think eight or ten dollars I can't remember and then the steel the um the um Sephora blushes were on sale I think they were like five or four dollars can't remember sorry um so I got two I got one in Rose Rebel I guess it's a really pretty pink color and I can't swatch it there. I'll swatch it here. A really pretty pink. And I'll show it to you. So there. Rose Rebel. Number one. Really pretty. And um, Apricot Pleasure. Hmm. I guess Apricot Pleasures. I don't know. Number six. It's a really pretty bronzy pink champagne type color with gold in it oh wants to almost look like orgasm really does so that's the color 
and I'll show you the swatches. So that's the pinky one, and that's the one um, apricot one, number six. And um, I also, this cover effects um, translucent mineral powder, which I got in golden bronze, uh, was like $8, I think. So, got the color in golden bronze, but I don't think this is going to work for me. I haven't tried it as a full-on powder, um, but it just seems a little bit light and way too shimmery. No, maybe as a highlighter, but it's really shimmery. Okay, it could work for a powder, really, really golden color. There it is. You can probably see it, the, the luminance of it. Really, really pretty, but the shimmers, mm -mm. I, I can't write this all over my face. But this is a pretty and highlight. I got this. This is the Sephora Bronzer in um sun disc the sephora sun disc bron bronzer sun disc sun disc bronzer face sun disc bronzer face sun disc bronzer face sun disc bronzer in front of face it's big y'all it is huge look at it it's huge it's ginormous this is a mac msf natural it's big it's huge and I guess that's why it's called the sun disc you know because the sun is big it's like a CD play it's like a, um, a CD yeah it's like the size of a CD it's huge but the product and it has a slight scent thank goodness it's not too overwhelming uh, kind of perfumey yeah like baby powder scent yeah kind of that scent um, and that's what it looks like up close right it's like a really pretty peachy bronzy color, um, golden bronze peach in the mix. Really pretty, not as a bronzer for me per se, like a darker bronzer. It kind of blends into my skin a bit, but it will be a great highlight. This is it on my skin, it kind of blends. So I can use this all over my face if I wanted to in the center of my face. It has um, some a small amount of shimmer in it, but it's nothing overwhelming. This is a really good buy because it's huge you know yeah i think i paid like five bucks for this or something i don't even know it was, it was cheap <laughs> funny story so i wanted to get this last year around christmas and my friend wilder jmc was like no mo you don't need any more brushes you already got enough brushes why are you beasting about the brushes stop it so i was like okay let me listen to my friend i don't really need any more brushes yada 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 this was 25 dollars or 30 dollars i don't remember but it's the sephora um i love sephora brush set it was about $25 or $30. This was $9. So, I got it. $9? Uh-uh. Nobody could talk me out of this. And what I wanted it for, really, was this brush and this brush, which is the angle eyeliner brush. So, it comes with five brushes um, and a cute little clutch. This is really cute. This is what the inside of the clutch looks like. Really pretty nine bucks y'all check it out before it sells out um even with shipping if you have to pay five or six dollars shipping it's still worth it. it's like 16 dollars, and you get these brushes these brushes can do your eye and this can use for powder so this is the powder brush and i'm going to use it as a bronzer slash contour brush like right here so got that and these are plastic down here so they're not the most expensive but this is pla this one is plastic these feel like wood and this is the angled liner brush. Um, this is just a regular eyeshadow brush. You use that to um, pack on color. Uh, and this is a smudger brush, pretty similar to the MAC 214. And this is a lip brush, which I will be using it for a lip brush, a square top lip brush, or a flat top lip brush. So, and then of course you get the cute little clutch that you can use for other things. And I'm gonna find a way to use this bad boy. Two bonus samples. Um, I use codes for these. I can't remember the codes. Oh, can't remember the codes. But I leave the site where I got them from. Um, no, I actually got them from Sephora. I went to Sephora um, coupons on Sephora, and they were they had um, the Bosha BB cream with some other ones. So I wanted to try the BB cream. So I got a BB cream. And then Smashbox's uh, Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder 
pour jouer à droite de profession. Et je pense que c'est un très bon match. C'est kind of red though. The undertone is very red, like pink. So, yeah, those were, and then I got the other regular samples. Those were all that I got from Sephora. And from uh, Nigel's, guys, I'm so sorry. This is a long video. I am just so sorry. Bear with me. Went to Nigel's um, today. And David from Nigel's, if you happen to watch this video, you probably won't. You sucker punched me. He did, y'all. So I went in there. Um, I picked up another foundation that um, I was getting. And, you know, and just went straight to that. I was looking at the HD foundation because, you know, I wanted to, to see if I could find a match. I was never able to really find a match. So I'm standing there and, you know, I talked to the other guy. The other guy gave me what I wanted. Mr. David came over. And he was like, you know, can I help you? How can I help you? Yada, yada, yada. What's your name? So I was like, my name is Moni. And he's like, oh, okay, my name is David. Yada, yada, yada. Boom, bang, sing. This... This man, okay, within like five minutes, you know, matched me. I, it wasn't an exact match, but it was the best match. So I got 173, which I'm wearing right now. Um, I don't know if you can tell. It, the, the foundation does oxidize a little bit. So that's a good thing because 173 matches me perfectly on my cheeks. But around here and here, no. Okay, so he gave me a sample of 177. And I will have a review of this coming up, see if I like it. So far, so good. This has been probably the second foundation that I've tried that I don't think I need powder with. And I'm a person that loves to powder. Yeah, so this is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation 173. And I got a sample of 177 if I can find it. There's just so much going on right now. Thank you, David. You sucker punched me. I was not, th this was not a plan. David, but thank you. <laughs> um, Nigel's is in the North Hollywood area. I think it's like on Magnolia Boulevard or something. Yeah, as I was saying, I don't remember what I was saying, but I got these um, stackable containers for my uh, powders. And I think these were like five or seven dollars or so, so that my powders don't take up so much space, my loose powders. So I got these brushes from um, Mundo, excuse me, Mondo Studio. That is the Nigel's line, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. And I only wanted um, two brushes. This flat um, liner brush, or like a, it's called a push brush, or a push liner brush. And I only wanted it to really conceal right here, but it's a little bit too soft for that. I use my e.l.f. one right now, which I absolutely love, but it's old and scraggly. So I may just get a couple more e.l.f. ones. So I think this is ideal. This is better um, used for what it's supposed to be used for, which is getting um, like loose shadow right on the lash line, right? And I wanted this brush uh, right here. Very similar to the Sonia Kashuk, the small uh, shadow brush, because of my small lid space, it gets in. That's what it's supposed to do. I don't know how these three got into my basket, but they did. So I got them. This is a concealer brush, number 190. And it's a small concealer brush. I don't really have a concealer brush like this, um, but I like this. It has a fullness to it, so I can use it for cream shadows and stuff. Then I got this. I'm going to try it out on my brows, but I think it may be too soft. So, of course, angle liner brush, and it's really small, so that's good. And then I got another liner brush. Um, I got some painters one, like real paint brushes, but the quality was, they fell apart, it was just, mm -mm. So um, I got this one really small. I have a smaller one than this, so I got this one um, to really do what I needed to do. And I'm planning on doing some detailing work, uh, small details, so yeah. I think this is the end of my haul. I am absolutely tired. I'm supposing that maybe you are too. Um, yeah. Thank you for sticking around. If you stuck around for the whole, however long this is going to be. <sighs> so, <laughs> if you stuck around, I'll talk to you later. And I do have a giveaway coming up, but I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, if I should do a Facebook or not. But I'm talking too much. I'm going to say bye. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm so tired. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Enough love ya.